everybody. Welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. I'm Lauren, I'm a singer and a voice teacher. Today, I'm reacting to Taylor Swift's Anti-Hero. Um, music video. Now, as I'm sure you all know, Taylor broke a bunch of um, <laughs> records when she released this album at midnight. Um, and then an additional, like, I don't know, some, it's like five or six songs at 3 a.m. So the 3 a.m. version of the new album actually has 20 songs on it, which is extremely long. And I have listened to the whole thing. I really like it. Um, of course, I have my favorites. And I, as I'm sure all of you do too, so let me know which are your favorites in the comments below. Um, I love Snow on the Beach, and I also really like um, Karma. Um, let's see, You're on Your Own Kid. I like Antihero um, as well. Um, it's a little darker, as you know, because it's, she's calling herself an antihero. But this is the music video that's been released so far, so I thought I would react to it and see what you all thought as well. So this is a music education uh, channel, so I'm teaching you what these singers that you love are doing and how you can do it too, how you can learn from them. And so I will be pausing throughout the video. Uh, so that's not your cup of tea, that's okay, but just so you know, that's what's gonna be going on. Uh, so if you haven't yet subscribed yet, click that red subscribe button and help me grow my channel. And also, if you could just give this a quick thumbs up, I would really appreciate it so more people can see it in the YouTube, YouTube algorithm. And without, without further ado, let's listen to Taylor. Okay, so this video re was released four days ago and it already has 31 million views. Pretty dang impressive. Um, so let's listen. Here we go, press and play. stand there in the room so she's playing a lot with kind of going into her female falsetto there um using that head voice but allowing some slack in her vocal folds so that we can hear a little bit of that air coming through on purpose of course um and i like that it starts the song starts quieter um so that it it gives room for a build to my own devices they come with prices and vices i end up in crisis I wake up screaming yeah. from dreaming One day I'll watch as you're leaving Cause you got tired of my scheming For the last time It's me Hi I'm the problem It's me At tea Time Everybody agrees I'll stare directly at the sun But never in the mirror It must be exhausting Always rooting for the anti-hero She uses a lot of chest voice in this song and it kind of helps her with that um, sound of like, you know, being tired, um, you know, talking about anti-hero. It's not that, oh, this high, beautiful voice all the time. Um, of course, she sounds great, but she is really using that chest register. And this is a great example of how we can use the different registers in our voices to add color. Um, not just because we it's a high note or a low note, but really choosing to really bring out that register and what that can offer the meaning of the song. Feel like everybody is a sexy baby and I'm a monster on the hill. Too big to hang out, slowly lurching toward your favorite city. Pierce through the heart but never killed. Did you hear my code? Narcissism like disguise as altruism, like some kind of consciousness. I wake 
Um, of course, I listened to this song on the album. I have not seen this video yet. Too good. Um, that she is just like way bigger than everyone else being the monster. Um, and I love this um, idea of that sometimes we're our own worst enemy, right? So that's why she's like, hey, it's me, I'm the problem, right? And um, she's also juxtaposing her voice a lot. She's, she's using a higher, like um, poppier pitches when she's kind of becoming the other character. Um, and then she uses a lot more of her chest low voice when she's saying, you know, it, um, it must be exhausting rooting for the anti-hero uh, or whatever. I think I might have messed up the words there. But yes, definitely using a lot of that registration. from hell but oh my god i love that guy <laughs> what does it say it's the worst but who got the beach house he's having it turned into a cat sanctuary what cats don't even like the beach what about the rest of the assets i flew all the way here from ibiza to my children i leave 13 cents no wait 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 you guys there's probably a secret encoded message that means something else. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that's yeah. what mom would always do. P.S. There's no secret encoded message that means something else. Love, Taylor. Okay. Great, well, good job, Chad. You finally pushed it too far. What are you implying oh by God. that? I think she's implying so, that so you so haven't hesitated to like trade on mom's me. name. Or, Excuse me? Um, and do you not remember your book, Growing Up Swift? And your stupid podcast, your Life podcast. Comes at You Swiftly, which I'm pretty sure you're recording for on your phone right now. Chad, come on! Chad. Okay, well, yeah, why don't you go um, cry about it at the club? Okay, so this is the actor from Search Party, which is one of my, like, all-time favorite shows. Um, I finished, you know, it's over and I finished it now, but he is really funny if you guys haven't watched that show. Just a little FYI. Let's keep going. Country club that you name drop mom to get into, Preston. And Kimber, you're literally wearing her clothes right now. No, I'm not. That's from the Fearless Tour 2009. Okay, well, you know what? We were very, very close. I miss her. They were so close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think she killed her. You've gone too far! Okay, Kimber was the last one with her! She didn't fall off the balcony! She was pushed! No! Everybody agrees. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. It's me. It's hi. Okay, so this is like, I was not expecting this part of the movie, but this is pretty funny. Everybody agrees. Everybody agrees. I'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting, always rooting for. Oh my god. <laughs> There's the giant Taylor again. Um, wow, that that music a video was definitely unexpected. Took some unexpected turns. Um but I love, you know, how creative Taylor Swift is. And, you know, she did write and direct this music video, so I can say that. I mean, I'm, obviously she had a huge teamwork on it too. Um, but yeah, that's something I'm def I am definitely always really look up to her for is not only does her singing and performing just continuously get better over time, but she is so creative and really um, is a master marketer too. Like, hello, how, how crazy is it that she <laughs> broke uh, the Spotify play record like the day of the album release? So that's pretty cool. So huge congrats to her. 
Um, all you Swifties out there, let me know what you think of the new album and what your favorite song on it is. Love to hear from you, and we'll chat soon.